What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name is Lloyd. So we're gonna talk about a subject that I see on the internet all the time. I get emails about this, and it's why do women leave good men? I mean, let's be honest. Men leave good women, women leave good men. But why is it? Let's. We've all been there. You probably are thinking of a certain example, maybe someone in your life, a friend, loved one, whoever it was, who they did everything seemingly right in the relationship, and you know, the girl still ended up leaving them. Well, okay, uh, I can't predict every single situation. There are times women will make a legitimate mistake for weird, crazy reasons. Maybe she's insecure. Maybe she's not ready for it right then and there. Maybe she sabotages everything on purpose in her life. Women do this all the time, by the way. They sabotage a good thing. But are there times where a guy who seems like a great guy, has everything going on, will an intelligent, well-mannered, mature woman leave this person? And the answer, unfortunately, is yes. I have seen this happen. You know, there was a smart girl who was with a guy who I knew, who they stayed together for a very long time, and this guy did everything for her. He was a very nice person. You know, he took care of the kids, um, he'd, be, he'd do the chores every single day, everything she asked he would do. He was like basically the perfect husband in all shapes and manners in terms of that. And she still left him. And to be honest, she really didn't feel that bad for him. They were together for like maybe 10, 15 years or something like that. And when they did leave and he was totally devastated and you know, it took him, he still was still recovering from it. Why is it that she did that? You know, why would she put him through something like that? It wasn't fun for her as well too. Why would she go through that? Is she just a really evil, not good person? I don't know. I don't, I'm not going to say whether she was good or bad, um, but I can tell you why it happened. Do I think it could have been handled better? Absolutely, though. You know, like these things happen. You could probably think of an example in your own life. Why do these things happen? So, what I'm going to be talking about in this video is I'm going to be talking about uh, why these things go down and what you can do to make sure that the situation that happened with my friend never happens with you. You know, it would really pain me to see more guys being put in this position because it's happening more and more. You know, uh, when it comes to relationships, um, marriages especially, uh, two out of three divorces are instituted or instigated by the woman, meaning the woman is going to the guy and demanding a divorce. And a lot of times the guy's blindsided like my friend was, and he has no idea, no idea why this happened, even though he seemingly did everything correct, okay? It really comes down to desire. If he's doing everything right, you know, most women say they want a kind, generous, uh, caring, affectionate, you know, supportive husband and all that stuff. When you actually look at all of those qualities, you know, my, my friends seem to have them. There's something missing from this list of qualities that women are looking for, okay? Yeah, maybe his confidence could have been a little better, but it wasn't bad enough that it, it, was, uh, it was something to be worried about. It was they don't talk about what it means to be a man. Women are into men. They desire men. But when you start doing everything that your partner or your, sorry, your girlfriend or your wife or whoever tells you all the time and you're just this kind of obedient, docile little puppy, you stop being a man. And although you might make her happy in that moment, although you might avoid an argument, although you might make, make, your, make your day just slightly better at that time, you are slowly killing your desirability. I don't know if you've noticed, but women all the time will stay with a guy who they don't like who pisses them off all the time. They'll stay with him for years. And it's not the fact that the guy is pissing them off, that's why they're staying with him. They're staying with him because he's acting like a man, or he is a man. They see him as a man. They see him as someone that they desire. They do not see a guy who does everything they tell him, who they can walk all over him, disrespect him continuously, especially in public. They can't respect that guy, and as a result, they won't sleep with him. In a relationship, in a marriage, in all of those things, you have a decision at certain times to either be liked or respected. Too many guys are picking, I wanna be liked. I want my wife or my girlfriend to like me. I don't want her to get mad at me. I just don't wanna get in trouble. The I don't wanna get in trouble, guys, you might win that battle, you might escape an argument, but you're losing the war again and again, every single day, with every decision that you make that goes in that favor. And a lot of times you know what these situations are. Sometimes she's getting out of line. Sometimes the person that you're with is acting totally inappropriately. 
Do you just let it slide? Do you let her talk badly to you? You have a decision to make at that point. This is my opinion. In relationships and in love and in, in all that stuff, I would, you go for res I would go for respect. I would try and be someone that you, your wife, your girlfriend can respect. Men prefer respect, women tend to prefer love. Okay, and there's a reason for that because women will sleep with and desire men that they respect and they won't with guys that they, that they like. Or, or, you know, they can love you, they can recognize that you're a good father, they can recognize that you're doing all these nice things for them. A good parent, a good friend, that does not make you into someone that they desire. And as a result, when they spend time with someone who they are continually not seeing as a man, who they are continually not respecting, who they disrespect on a regular basis, they become angry and bitter. They're like, I've spent all my good years with this guy. From age 25 to 38, I've been with this guy. All my good years were used up being with him. I could, have, I could have gotten a better man, I could have gotten somebody else, I could have been happier, and I've used up these 15 or 13 or whatever years being with someone who you know, I'm just not really into. So no matter how nice the guy is, they still get kind of bitter and resentful, and they don't feel sorry for him. It's, it's a very cold and uh, unfortunate position uh, to be in. But here's how you avoid it. The way you avoid it is by doing what I was saying, which was when you have a choice, whether to be liked or respected, I would always go for respect. And this doesn't mean yelling back at them. This doesn't mean shouting, hey, you need to respect me. Hey, I'm a man. No, you sound like a child doing that. You need to act the way that you want to act, okay? It's not your responsibility to solve all of her problems. It's not your responsibility to, to constantly be making her happy. Make yourself happy first. If you're happy, the relationship will be happy. And if you're still happy and she's not happy at the end of the day, you are the one that needs to walk away. It's not your, I'm not into fixing women. That's not my job. People need to fix themselves. And if they can't find a way to fix themselves, they need to be with somebody who's going to help them do that. And it's not gonna be me, okay? If you're in the business of doing that, if you're in the business of constantly trying to make the people around you happy all the frickin' time, you're gonna make yourself crazy and they're not gonna respect you. This is true of friends, this is true of, you know, even, even family members. People need to figure themselves out. So I know that we have grown up in a situation, and I see this happening all the time with men, where they learn permission-seeking behaviors from women in authoritative positions. Like when you're in school, you raise your hand to go to the bathroom, you uh, ask for permission to, to do anything with your mom, you're trying, to not get, you're trying to not get in trouble with these authoritative female figures. And so we apply that principle into marriage. Oh, if I just listen to my wife and do whatever she says, it'll be perfect. No! That's exactly the way to lose her. That's exactly the way that you, thinking that you're being a good little boy, is going to make her run for the frickin' hills. She'll never wanna sleep with you and she'll never wanna be with you. She's gonna try, and at a certain point, she's gonna break and just wanna leave. So, and I know this is a harsh truth. I know there might be some people who feel like they've been lied to. You have been lied to. Unfortunately, with society, they don't tell you the truth about this. They don't tell you um, that if you act like this or if you just follow all the rules, things won't work out for you. You won't live a good life. So you need to become empowered and make your, do the things that's gonna make you happy. Put yourself first. I always say this. If you're in a relationship, man, you should not be putting your girlfriend first. You should put you first, your career, your friends and family, and then your girlfriend should be after that. And if you just started dating, your, your best friend should probably go before then too, all right? Now, if she does become family, then she gets upgraded to third, okay? So if you're in this position, you guys, please, I understand it's a tough truth to, to kind of get through your head, or maybe you kind of already knew this and you just wanted confirmation, that's okay too. But if you're here right now, I offer you a choice. You have a decision to make. Either you can continually lose the battle, continually win every single battle, but lose the war, and as a result, lose your relationship and you know, be unhappy, or you can do what it takes to maybe temporarily lose a few battles, make yourself the number one priority in your life, make yourself happy, and eventually you're gonna win the war and you're gonna have a great relationship and you're gonna do amazingly well with women because all my clients, all my students, they understand this to a, to a core. Like there's no, there's no confusion about this issue. Once you see it and it's clear, um, it, becomes, it becomes very, very easy to implement. So being an authentic man, being an authentic, your authentic self and living your life the, that way, that's how you're gonna solve this issue. And that's why, you know, even though I hear messages and stories and all of these things with my friends, I am absolutely 100% not worried about it because I know I'm gonna do whatever it takes to make myself happy. And as a result, that's why my relationships are gonna succeed.
So thanks for watching, you guys. If you made it to end, consider subscribing. I come out with videos like this every single week. Good luck out there.